what's happening with the children from the sky. And they correspond to many of, as we see in Zodiac, every time a star appears, the person is born here on Earth, and then the, the constellation in which they appear around develops their influence on their body, not their spirit. See, the body came from the Earth. It's the flesh, and it's karn or kar, as, as, as it's called. And when, when that being itself overthrows soul who's solo, meaning alone, then there's, there's going to be a problem with all the things that are associated with mammalian beings, which are the need, the, the need for communion, the need to follow, the need to, uh, to have support, warmth, all these different things. And so what we have to understand and to do is to master both beings, and that's why in, in a lot of the, the, the definitely the, the ancient teachings, they weren't missing anything, especially in some of the Chinese and Oriental systems of the discipline of the body. But now, you know, people are not ready to go to the extreme of, of forcing the body into some level of uh, submission so that they can gain some high level of power. So the Most High, who's still the greatest planner, has allowed man to unlock, and woman to unlock into chemistry to where we, can, we understand how to change the molecular composite of the body with simple salt even in order to allow people to experience what we would just call ascension. And, and begin to make that make make that phase because ascension is like a journey. It's again, once you get started on it, it is really an ever quest, and your things are rapidly changing into the point where you learn how to completely blink into another reality and not be surprised that you're there. It's like a slider. You slide into life and, and body for a moment and be the best they can be for a couple of years or days or whatever, and then you slide into another experience. That's just in the, uh, uh, the, 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 the position that is also played here with a lot of individuals, and it's just an observer. And unfortunately, I, I, I wanted to be an observer this lifetime, but it looks like I'm going to be a, a, an activist. Because what, we, <laughs> what I did find out is, you know, sometimes you do get the higher levels of knowledge and power, and you see the air bot and the magic window opens for you, and the hand comes out, and this stuff really happens. But what I found is, is that what is it all if your brother can't enjoy it? Exactly. It's like what I, all, what I always found was is that the moment that I will find something hidden knowledge and secrets, especially from the level of, of what I was interfacing with, the immediate thing I would do is blog about it. And that's what allowed me to keep receiving it. And what, but that was completely opposite to what we had been taught, which was is that once you learn the secret, you're supposed to keep it. And then I understood something simple. If you have all the money in the world, like it's not even all the money in the world, but let's say I've seen $26 million diamonds, and some person will actually buy that diamond, and they'll probably sit it on, in, on the counter for a while and look at it. And, but the thing is, is that when a human being comes, or let's say it's a man and a woman comes, he'll walk into the room with the woman and leave the diamond there. And then after a while, the diamond will go on the shelf. After a while, you won't even see the diamond anymore. It's just a pretty rock but it's still $26 million worth of energy into that rock. Exactly. And what I'm, starting to, 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 right, so what I'm starting to notice is if anyone expects for the consciousness of our community to get ready to come up, it needs to listen to the individuals that have come forth, make a sound judgment of what they believe to be true, and to support them no matter who it is. Like whatever you're involved in, just go ahead and support it to a full degree. I'm not saying support me. I'm saying support anything that you're involved in so that you can at least get to the truth of it because we've been half-heartedly doing things. And, and there's a book a long time ago it's called Half Magic, telling how you had to wish for things twice in order for them to come through, true because you were divided in Maya. Maya means to split, and then it causes an illusion after that. And so people have to understand that they've been split and disconnected and all sorts of stuff, DNA shattered and ravaged by who? And that's one of the parts of what we're also bringing forth in the code highlights is who's actually been involved. Now, it's a lot of them because as I highlight in the video, there's several mentalities, and I show in certain movies and things like that the mentalities, especially in the Decoder series, which is available on YouTube now under the, uh, under the, uh, the tag Innerstanding, I-N-N-E-R-S-T-A-N-D-I-N-G. The video uh, basically shows from multiple levels how definitely there's a hidden message embedded within the films, but not so much as this, but highlighting for it in a, in a nice cinemagraphic uh, uh, advanced learning way of exactly what's been going on here and who's really at stake. So that way, I mean, who's really at fault? And so that way, next time one of us is rubbing shoulders, am I, 
our organization is, is driven now towards getting closer to these people to put them on the spotlight like an a, a, a esoteric version of punk where we ask, what was this symbol? What, what, oh, what are yeah. you doing here at this meeting with this person? And then we'll see how funny that is for nighttime television because they'll love it. Because once they find out that their truth is indeed stranger than fiction, then that's all they're going to lock on to any, anyway because there's that part of the individual anyway that always is going to cater to something esoteric and that's their soul. And so once we switch them off of material and onto soul, that's when we have the ability to, to see what we're trying to see from the population itself. Now the individual is separate. What you do for yourself, what you do with the knowledge and where you take it is really up to you. Affecting the consciousness of the world itself is still one of our dreams because people have choice. So what I mean by that is that if, when you want to raise the consciousness of a whole uh, a group of individuals, then it's going to take some collaboration. Those individuals are going to have to get together. They're going to have to get together and talk. They're going to have to get together and strategize. You need to figure out who's the head, who's the feet. You have to do something of that nature, and that's exactly what the Illuminists have done and the Ordinatis and, 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 and the Rosicutians have done and the Theosophical Societies have done. They've gotten their thinkers together, and they've penetrated the realm, opened more dimensions for themselves, they kept a body here and a body in other planes because you got a, two vehicles, two cars. Now imagine, like I was saying before, just to kind of go on a lighter note here, something interesting. How much is one of these things worth? <laughs> how much of one of these organic bodies worth? Like some people sometimes always be trying to calculate how much money and things like that. They don't understand, man, you're sitting in an organic body. Like how much is that really worth compared to what it's capable of doing? You know, and so and that that's really uh, what you have to understand is at stake because they'll do anything to take it, <laughs> and that's that's really what's what's happening in society is that there's a price on it as they show with the straw man and things like that. There's a price on the the human body at this point, and and that price extends for one for the body. There's a material price for that, and then for the soul. You know, <laughs> they want, you know you would love to say it's priceless, but some are you know selling for cheap. So, uh, but this this is definitely some of the stuff that's being highlighted. I didn't I didn't know if anyone's in the chat room. I know we're 45 minutes in. Oh yes, as a matter of fact, uh, we're gonna take a quick pause here. The switchboard is lit up, uh, brother. <laughs> you know, so uh, in order for us to at least get some calls in, uh, we're gonna take a call or two now. Uh, are you ready for some questions? Definitely, definitely. Okay, we're going to start off uh, with our first caller here from the 323 area code. Caller, are you there? Hello? Caller, are you there? Hello? Hello? Am I online? Yes, you are. Greetings, sister. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. And how are you all? You're doing well, sister. Thank you. Good, good. I was just listening. He gave us some powerful information, but also I had... A question, um, I was um, listening to um, um, Sister Myra Eighth Star, and she was saying how most oh, of yes. have been... Oh, yes, sweetheart of a sister. Yeah, very, very, you know, I love all my queens and kings out there. But how every kingdom has been formed, and the earth is really like a daughter, in the, a, a new creation of a daughter in itself through character. So... Can you expound on that a little bit for me? Like some, like <laughs> creating something new artistically, even like myself now, I find myself um, getting just more conscious writing, singing, doing things that I, I myself, within myself, do like Pata, which is the path of your own self. You know, and I find a lot of people, even around here in the Los Angeles, in their own world, separate, <laughs> alienated in the essence, like, you know, so, like, not really intertwining much, just focusing in their own individual world in the essence. But I'm just saying, bringing that back to the daughter essence, is that in a creation period, like, it's just like a, a creation of an individual stepping stone within the person to find itself. De definitely, you know, it's, it's easier to separate the, the male and the female in the aspects of understanding the spirit because the, the, the woman carries the soul matrix. She carries, you know, several pieces of, better lack of words, uh, you know, organic equipment that men don't. 
and that allows them to be in tune with, with certain things and certain abilities that we have to turn on. But likewise, men also possess an internal sun. But what it is is that 